Hi everyone, have you ever wondered why it's harder for you to achieve your dreams than it is for other people to do the exact same thing? Or why it feels harder for you to master a skill that you really care about, but it seems easier for everybody else to master the exact same skill, especially when those other people don't seem to care about that dream or that skill as much as you do? You put in all the hours working on your writing, your basketball skills, your art, your acting, your videography, biology, whatever it is that really matters to you, but sometimes it just feels like you're not moving forward, you're not really getting anywhere. If this is something that's on your mind, I want to tell you to not give up. And I also want to tell you why this is happening. Your dream, the skill that you really want to master, your purpose, whatever it is that you hold really close to your heart, you hold it close to your heart so it means more to you than it does to other people. So of course when you pursue that thing, it's going to hurt more whenever you deal with rejection than somebody who doesn't really care as much. Of course there's going to be more fear of failure for you than for somebody who doesn't care as much about it. Of course you're going to be more hung up on perfection and perfectionism in this area than it does for someone who really doesn't care as much. Of course you're going to be giving yourself a lot more self-criticism than somebody who doesn't really care as much. And of course, you're going to significantly appreciate less the talents that you do bring to the table, the strengths that you are bringing to the table, the great work that you are doing with regards to your dream or your purpose or your skill. It's a little bit like body dysmorphia, where what you see in your eyes is very different from how you actually appear in real life. And it's the same thing with your skill sets, how you are viewing your skill sets in an area that you really, really care about and that you really want to achieve in is going to be very different than the reality of how other people are perceiving your talents. You may be very talented and just not really able to see it with your own eyes. The second reason is this dream that you have, this skill that you really want to master, it's your purpose. It's what you came here to do. That's why you were so driven to succeed in this area, to achieve in this area, to master this realm. The universe would not have put such a deep and strong desire in you if it wasn't meant to be. So whatever your dream is, it's your purpose. It's what you came here to do. And if you came here to do this, if it really is your purpose, what you came here to live and embody and share with the world, wouldn't you need to be the best at it? Wouldn't you need to be solid in your strength of it? Wouldn't you need to learn it all, experience it all, so that you could embody it all? So you need the setbacks, you need the growth, you need the harsh feedback, you need the disappointments, you need the confusion. It takes time and learning because you are supposed to be the best at it. Because if you had completed your purpose at five years old, what then? And finally, if you've heard of the law of attraction, you know about this concept of needing to detach from the outcome. Or in reality transurfing, you know that it's really important that you don't put your desires on a pedestal. Because if you do that, your desires aren't going to manifest for you, and certainly they're not going to manifest for you very quickly. Your dream is your dream. It is the ultimate version of the life that you want to live. And so it can be really, really easy to put your dream, your purpose, the skill that you want to master on a pedestal. For others who don't really care about your dream as much as you do, or your purpose as much as you do, or the skill that you want to master as much as you do, for those people, because they don't care as much, they don't put it on a pedestal the way that you do. And so it's so much easier for them to be able to manifest the dream that you want to have. It's because they don't care as much, so they don't put it on a pedestal the way that you do. And so that desire that manifestation comes to them significantly faster than it does for you. For me personally, I remember when I first learned about the Law of Attraction 14 to 15 years ago, I was watching the movie The Secret and I was so excited about it and I thought, oh my gosh, this is like the answer to everything and it just felt like this magical technique, this magical gift that had been given to me in my life and I shared it with my brothers and I shared it with my friend and I shared the visualization techniques with them and my brother and my friend were able to manifest their desires within a few days and for me, it took weeks, it took months for me to be able to manifest anything. And the reason why is because I was so excited about the law of attraction and the secret that I put the law of attraction on a pedestal. Whereas my brother and my friend, they were able to manifest quickly because to them, they hadn't really seen the movie. They hadn't been attached to this 
concept, this idea, this law, the way that I was. And so they were able to manifest whatever they wanted within just a matter of a few days. But the thing is, is because it was so difficult for me and because it was something that I really cared about, I really got to mastering it. And now I'm definitely a master attractor. And there's only three things in my life that I need at this point in time. I've basically attracted everything else. I have the money, I have the career, I have the relationship, I have wonderful relationships with my family. I have the house, I have the car, I have everything that I'm looking for except for three things. And of course, with those three things, I also have them put on a pedestal. So if there is some dream in your life or some skill you wanna master or some purpose that you really want to fulfill and you're struggling with it, please don't give up and just understand that the reason why it's harder for you than it is for other people isn't because you're bad at it, it's only because you care more and because you're here to truly master it, which means that you're doing a PhD in your purpose. Not a master's, not a bachelor's, not kindergarten purpose. You're doing a PhD in it and so it is going to be a grueling process that tests you and teaches you and makes you stronger on the journey. And it's important that you take your desire, your purpose, your dream off of the pedestal. And when you do that, it's going to come to you so much faster. It's going to be a much smoother ride and you'll appreciate those disappointments and those little hurdles along the way so much more because you understand how it all works together and why this is all happening. And it's not because you need to give up or because you're not good enough. It's just how it is and how it's supposed to be. And it's important to you, which means it's important to the universe. So keep going.